Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Inscription. In the last episode, we dealt with and defeated the computerized version of Leshy. The, well, the photographer as they were calling him. But honestly, although we did take out Leshy, we also did find out something kind of worrying with uh, some of the footage of Luke Carter, or what's supposed to be ourselves from what we can kind of deduce from everything, since, well, we got some more camera footage from that and everything. Definitely a bunch of uh, worrying things from what we've seen so far when it comes to him. But the thing is, is right now we're preparing to make our way towards Grimorum, or at least whatever the computerized version of her would be, since, let's be honest here, Inside the scribe's land of the dead, or I guess you could say dead robots when it can't comes to this point in the game. But honestly, with that being said, honestly, we continue our journey into the unknown with a two-star bounty on top of that, by the way. Just to be completely frank about that. Thing is, though, is um, with everything that we have seen so far for this specific area, definitely seems a little worrying when it comes to, like, how this has kind of, uh, transpired up to this point. Just to be honest, when it comes to what Poe has, uh, been having us do, and, well, seemingly how he's having us deal with what would be, you know, his opponents, uh, when we come to think of it as, uh, well, they're all the scribes, and, well, He's one at the current moment. So it's definitely interesting how he sees uh, what would normally, you know, be his, you know, adversaries. Because right now it doesn't seem like uh, he thinks too highly of them when it comes to uh, what he's done to Leshy. Completely changing his personality and just making him a robot. But everything here has been robot roboticized, if you think about it that way. Oh, pick one. Okay, pick one. Well, we have a chance of making a card here. This was for um, giving it a new ability, right? Just to make sure about that. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Which one is that again? Burrower. Oh, no, no, this is new. Would be struck a card bearing the sigil will move to the space that would receive the strike instead. Okay, it's that. And this is for hitting left and right. And this one's Sniper. Ooh. Okay. If we're giving out Sniper, I might want to grab that then. Because that could actually be very good. Hmm. Good question on that, though. Which one would I rather have that? Because I think I could make some pretty cool stuff with that if I had the ability. And it can go on, apparently, or Boros can still have that, apparently. Which is kind of funny. Would it swap out Touch of Death for that? Because if it does, that's kind of crazy. No, it actually gives it to us. Wow, okay then. That could be kind of crazy. Hmm. Might be worth it, but I think we need to work on something that actually could use uh, the sniper buff, I think. I think it might be good if we do that. The only thing is, is most of our cards are kind of iffy at most when it comes to if we would want them to have it, since we don't have much HP on a lot of this stuff. But it doesn't mean that they're bad, per se. Like, this Wizbot can definitely do some stuff. I've, se I've seen it firsthand. Even the Shieldbot, honestly, could do some stuff, honestly, if, um, if we were to be honest there, too. What about the Sniper Bot? Can you put it twice? No, you can't. So you can't put Sniper twice on something, which is good to know, honestly. Hmm. Honestly, being able to attack left and right on an early card like this guy might be worth it, in my opinion. To be honest, because I actually do use the Wizbot here. Or what would be the, uh, <laughs> the, wiz the wizard dude from the second chapter. But I'll take it. Um, does that look right? Yeah, I think so. He's cheap, too, so it's not too expensive to have him like that, either. So I think that could definitely help us out in the future. But off we go. Looks like we got ourselves another bridge battle. What are we dealing with, though, when it comes to things? 
overcharged bomb launcher in a mo uh, automaton. And this was making a bomb of a card, right? Yeah, okay. So be careful with that, basically. Okay, well noted. Uh, well... From what I can currently see... We should probably... What do we have on this guy again? Defense. From what I can see, probably that. To block that for a little bit. And then... Let them go for a turn. Okay, that looks fine. I'll take one damage. Okay, we can grab one of these. We can put you down... Here for right now. Just to kind of figure things out. I'm kind of letting them go for a second, just to kind of... Ooh, hello. Uh, Maxim, Ben, take here. Let's get down to business. Okay, another bounty hunter. It's fine. Right now we're kind of just uh, slowly getting energy back right now. Or just building up energy, to be completely honest. Insect drone. Okay, well if I get rid of the explode bot, everything comes out. So I need to be careful about that one. But for the most part, it looks like I can do some things here. Energy bot will let me get two things out here. Kind of. Not in the way that I want it to. But it would block me for a turn as well. Which isn't too bad, per se. Could blow up the entire board. Could be an interesting turn, but I don't think that would be a good idea either. And how are we doing on... Oh yeah, we're one, one tap, right? So we need to be careful about that too. Okay, well, I'm going to block you. Give us a turn more, maybe. Because we have defense on that. The only thing is, is I wish I could get two of those out right now. With our current, like, team, we really can't pull out much. We can only take one more damage, too, which is a little unfortunate. But... I could possibly take a card now. Skelly Launcher. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Okay, I could possibly make that work. Because all I really would need to do is... Do something along the lines of... Uh, actually, yeah, we might be able to do something with that, actually. But honestly, what I think I should probably do is more of put you... No, wait, that would kind of mess things up, too. Okay, it's kind of if iffy in my honest opinion, but I think I need to break you for now. We can put the energy bot here and put you down. Then if he breaks him, we can break something else if we need to, basically, for the time being. That'll block us this entire turn. Okay, he put that on himself. Interesting. Okay. Now we just need to figure out how we want to do this. Um... We could put Brittle on you. Not a bad idea. But is that what we want to do is the real question. <laughs> it's very iffy. Um... These two will blow each other up. So I guess we put Brittle on you. That's fine, I think. Okay, what are we looking at, though? Not very good, what we're looking at, but that doesn't matter too much, I think. Huh. I think we take a defense. But the thing is, is at the same time, we're in a very, very bad situation. How does this guy again work? Your, na your bots on your board get nano armor. If you use it right, it's decently okay. I guess. Mm -hmm. Back up to the current maximum, it's alright. Ooh, wait a minute. We could make that work, per se. It really depends on how we do it, though. I think what we need to do is something along the lines of... putting... 
This guy's gonna attack left and right. I don't like that, but we might have to do this this way. So we can do something along the lines of nano armoring you. Could have put two cards down. Should have done that. I don't know why I didn't. This guy's got insta down too if we put him down in the wrong way. But I think what we can do per se is put those down and maybe, just maybe, do something along the lines of this. Maybe we can make that work. It didn't fully do it, but uh, yeah, it didn't do what I wanted either. Oops, I did that in the wrong order. But, that doesn't mean that we're completely down for doing that. I can put you down here. Those guys are coming out though. That's a little bit of a problem about that. Which is a little unfortunate. But, this guy's brittle. I guess we find out. Honestly. Don't like it. Oh, we actually survived that. Completely forgot that we could do that. Okay, well down she goes. My injuries are severe. I shall retire for now. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that didn't do much at all. Eesh. Blocked a little bit of damage, but yeah, it's over. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. But that wasn't too hard to get back to, to be fair. It's just the roll of everything. And that was definitely a harder fight, too, on top of that. Thankfully, we can easily just kind of slide by that one and get back to where we were. So we were right here, thankfully. <laughs> just unfortunate that that was the way we went, is all. But it's fine. <laughs> just gotta hope this goes better. It's more of a... Um, wasn't really fully prepared for what kind of team he was running. He was basically forcing us to knock him out in order to do anything there. Which was a little unfortunate. And if we let him attack me this turn, I might be able to get away with a little bit too. Is kind of the thing. I guess that's kind of what we should do then. Just let it go. We got a better uh, draw too out of this. Which is better. Could be much worse. I'm gonna pull a card, maybe we'll get something. Okay. But we do have the way of attacking left and right. Which this thing won't get an advantage from it, which is good. Explodebot's gonna definitely get our buddy out of here, though. But it's not in a way that it's a major problem. Thankfully. But we can definitely work with this better than what we had last turn. <laughs> to be honest. Interesting. Exploding rails. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Take this instead. Okay, this definitely looks a lot better when it comes to what we were dealing with there. Okay. Because of what we currently have... Hmm. Interesting. Might be able to wait a turn. No, wait. No, wait, because that thing's gonna hit me too. Thought we did a little bit of damage, but apparently not. We need to do damage this turn, though. Well, we don't have a lot of damage coming in, though. That's the problem. We can block that. We can get rid of you. But even though... Hmm. That is definitely a little bit harder of a fight than what we've been dealing with recently. Okay. Well, I guess we'll put you down here, I guess, and then kind of just hold out for a turn then, I guess. Or what we could also do is just uh, force it. Yeah, I'm gonna just force it, just so we don't have to get squashed too hard here. It's gonna be flying over us, is how that guy works. So if we can leave him alone for a little bit, we can kind of work with that. But honestly, it's like, <laughs> not a good situation for the most part. Okay, we got a gift box. It could be pretty good. This guy's gonna break anyways this turn. So let's uh, put you down, we hit for one, we can kind of get a freebie this turn. It kind of works, honestly. Not too bad of a turn. We kind of fought back because of that, thankfully. Just a little scary is all to get through to the next phase is all. 
when it comes to this one. This is actually one of the harder fights I think we've done, which is kind of funny. But that'll knock you out, and I think he's out about he's out of cards this turn, if we're lucky. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Nope, he still has stuff apparently. Jeez. Okay then. Uh, you're coming in, and you're just gonna bash out. So I think we definitely pull a card. And then what we'll do is we'll break you. Not too bad. Okay, well, we can either take two or we can take a one. Hmm. Do we win this round? No, we don't. So I think we put you down for now. And then we just swing for now. And then you keep going. <laughs> This one's definitely a little bit harder than a lot of the other fights we've had. But honestly, kind of catching where we need to be, thankfully. For the most part, it's definitely a little bit harder than what we've dealt with before, though. We'll say this is where we say GGG, you know. Ooh, B. Huh. That's cool. Robo B. And that is game. <laughs> we'll definitely take the game while we can have it. <laughs> Okay, down goes Poe. Jeez. That was a lot harder of a fight than I thought that would be, honestly. But that smaller battlefield definitely hurt. The big items are back online. Bot spawners offline. Bot spawners are offline, you say? Okay, so apparently that was the fight there, apparently. Was that one fight there, but Foul Backwater and Filthy Corpse World apparently is how he feels about both of those areas. That's interesting. I'm gonna go back here because of the shop in the middle section. Might be worth it for a little bit of something. Hmm. Well, honestly some cards would be nice compared to what we currently have. Let's see what we can get. Sentry Drone. That is the one that does one damage as long as it moves to you, right? Could be good. Mm -hmm. But not exactly what I was hoping for, though, at the same time. But we might be able to take you and, like, merge you down. Which might be worth it. We'll take one more, though. Just to see what we can get. 49er, Sentry Drone. Another 49er. Okay. Um, but not exactly what it was. I'm gonna take the Sentry Drone, though. Okay, that could work, honestly. And this is to merge him down, right? I think so. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Which one was this again? Shoot, I completely forgot what this ability was. I think this is what we did to make um, that one card basically like double damage, but if it goes down, it's down kind of thing. I actually did not want to buy that, I'm gonna be honest. But, if we have to do this because I accidentally bought it again... Hmm. Could put it on the Sentry Drone, I guess. Because I wasn't actually planning on keeping that. But, maybe it could work. It kind of is like a big if, to be honest. Well, if we do do it then, I have an idea. Because this thing's expensive to pull, and I don't really need that card. Completely forgot about this just because it's been a couple days and I accidentally threw ourselves in probably one of the worst positions we could be in. But maybe this double gunner might be worth it. Because the thing is, is if we hit this and then we take out 3 damage, it might be enough to make it worth it for a card that could possibly go down. It's just that not going to be the best situation if it does happen, if we do end up losing it, but we could also get it back, is the thing. So we just got to use it in the right way, and not in the wrong way, kind of thing, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's a big if, honestly, and if it does work, good, if it doesn't work, it could be bad, but it's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I just had to think about my situation here, just because, yeah, I'm not 100% how this is going to go. What a depressing abode. To think your ambitions was to replace Grimora. Well, and inherit this. I guess so. I'm not using that, though. <laughs> 
I already know how that's not gonna help us. This looks interesting. Why is this flashing? Huh. Strange. Okay then. For some reason that area is flashing for some reason and I have no idea why. There's free cards here, I'm gonna take what we can get. Exoskeleton, Skeleton Launcher. This could honestly come in handy if we have the skeleton just for some extra damage. And honestly, for the most part. Hmm. Another gift box isn't bad. We've been able to use gift boxes. It's kind of majorly random what we get, but it's better than nothing. I give you a card. You give me one. It's easy. Uh huh. Okay, you give me a card, and I get one. Okay, uh... Shield Latcher doesn't sound bad, but I kind of don't really want any of these to be completely fair, but I'll take the shield. I'll pick the one you hate. Uh, which one do I not like? That is a good question. Well, uh, we have too many cards of cards that we just don't need, to be honest. But, uh, if I were to get any rid of anything, this thing, honestly, is not really something I use at all. To be honest, it's fine. You can have it, I guess. Ooh, another pelt. I'll take it. Thank you. Got another one of those things. Still don't know what we're using them for. We still haven't seen the trap or anywhere. But I guess we go forward. Let's see what happens next. Okay, what are we dealing with? Overcharged cards, one being elite bots. Okay, so that one just blocks from above. Not too bad. The shield latcher over there could be bad in the wrong situation, I guess. Okay, well, um, nothing of that is moving. So I guess we can kind of just put you... Which one would be better to block, I guess? Uh, that is a good question. I guess you? I guess that's fine. We'll just let it go, I guess. Most of our stuff is like you have to wait for battery. It's kind of our problem, for the most part. You take a card and hope I get something. Okay, that's good. I'll take you. Then I'll start the process of... Oh, actually, I should have moved you, actually. I probably would have been smarter. Hmm. It's fine. Didn't mean to do it that way, though. Really unfortunate. I had no real way of, like, getting him back on the field from that position, is all. Which is a really unfortunate position, just to be put into. Okay, we got another one of those coming in. We do have an insectroid. I'd rather block that. Yeah, I guess we just wait. Hmm. Okay. Get one damage in. Hmm, we got you coming in. Don't like that at all. But at least we have Touch of Death on the Insectroid when he comes in. He's got a bunch of stuff coming in though. Don't like that at all. Okay. Well, because of what we have currently, we can pull one of these safely. We can put you here to block. We can put you over here, actually. Use this to block entirely, put this to block entirely, and sit. It kind of at least opens up that, so we're not like completely getting blasted out this turn. Uh, can't really fully block anything here. But we can block you, I guess, for an extra block. And keep that thing on the field. Not the best situation, but it's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> Is all I can really say here. Okay, they're doing 3 damage no matter what this turn, but uh, we're out by 1 point. Well, we can put you down, I guess, and then we'll be able to break out of that, I guess, kind of. Not the best situation, but it's better than nothing, I guess, <laughs> is all I can really say. Okay, 1 point. Ouch. But we're still alive. <laughs> we're still alive is all that can be said here. Okay, well that's not too bad. Okay, we're doing two damage no matter what. He's got a one coming in. Okay. So as long as we do three... 
yeah, three damage back. Which is not really possible from this angle, is it? Not really. Hmm. Unfortunate. Unless we play our cards right. I think what we need to do this turn is... Yeah, we just need to block, right? Just block enough damage, right? So if we go for you, we can pull some energy back and at least block one of that damage. And that should at least open it up to where we're not in a bad situation anymore, basically. Could be worse, but at least we're in a safe zone, is basically what I was trying to do. Eesh, yikes. What a harder fight, though, that's for sure. I guess we can put this here, then, and just flashed on through as much as we can, and just see what we can do. But at least it's something. Oh, you gave me a free shield. I'll take it. Hm. Okay, well, double, double gunners coming in. Um, you were breaking me for that, so how do we want to do this? So you're swinging on me, which really doesn't kind of move anything in any way, shape, or form. But I guess I could... I can't really put it on myself, which is unfortunate. It's kind of what I want to do. I guess I can put that on you, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of an iffy situation there, but at least it does something, I guess. It gets rid of that guy in front of me. And we can kind of work against it. Okay, we can put you down, I guess. I'm gonna break and open them, just to see what's inside of them. Okay, that could pause. No, can't use it though. Unfortunate. Okay, we're doing at least two damage this turn. He's doing one, then he's gonna do two. Okay, it's fine. Swing through them, blow them all up. Uh, we're giving Skelly Launcher. Oh. Oh, I can't put it back on me. What if you don't want to do that? Can I do it something else instead? Because I don't want to brittle my own cards. Eesh. That's kind of... Eesh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Eesh. Okay, then. That's weird. So I had to brittle my own card, unfortunately, from that position there. Okay, you're only defending. That's good. Could be much worse. Okay, well if that's going to be the situation here, we're going to put you here, and I guess we'll just swing forward to do some damage. Really weird cards, I'm going to be honest there. Forcing yourself to break your own card is a little iffy in my situation, from what we had to do there, but if I have to do it, I guess we'll have to do it. It's kind of weird though, to be honest, but nothing really I can do about it. Um, we're just gonna attack you directly. I feel safer that way. <laughs> what a strange, um, hand, though, we've been dealt with when it comes to, like, any of these hurts. But you can go there, I guess. Hmm. Well, at least I think we won, honestly. Definitely a weird way to win, I'll be honest. But, jeez. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> jeez, okay, then. Oh, we're in this room. This was the one with the well in it. Um, got something. Can I do it again? Oh, I can. Hello. Some more money. I'll take it. Can I keep going? I'll keep clicking it just in case. They give us a reason to do it. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Nothing else from there. I got a quill, though. Not sure what I can do with that. But it's something, I guess. Go forward. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. You have brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Well, thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Access? Okay. Weird. Um... Do I want to go forward here? I kind of want to check out everything before we go forward, because that's definitely towards where Grimora would be. But Grimora shouldn't exist anymore based on the fact that we were supposed to take her place. I don't like that they got multiple cards that just spawn in on top of us like that. But at least we can block out 
the one skeleton. The other one's gonna break itself, but it's definitely not a good situation for that to happen. Okay, well, they don't have anything on the board right now that can hurt us. So maybe what we should do is something along the lines of helping ourselves out as much as we can. Okay, is this the... no, this is a regular tip box. I'm gonna put you down just to block for now, buddy. And then we're gonna kinda see what happens. Insectron coming out in the worst possible spot. Okay. Well, we're blocking the skeleton. So if we can get at least something to do damage this turn, that would be good. Okay, cool. I'll take it. At least that helps us a slight bit. And we're not taking full damage this turn, just from the insectron there. Okay, that works. Somewhat. Not in the best way, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> we'll take this then, I guess. Sentry drone. Could be good. It kind of is like really dependent, though, on how you use it and if it's actually good or not, kind of thing. I guess we can put the Skelly Launcher here for now and just do some damage. If it breaks, we can turn something into a skeleton, basically. So it's like, it's not a majorly bad thing to have. Honestly. Okay, sniper bot. Um, with the fact that this thing's not attacking me, I'm gonna put you here instead. So we can at least do damage in that spot. And then kind of figure out how we want to do things here. Honestly, for the most part, what I could possibly do is do something along the lines of this and kind of start opening up this area if we need to, by turning that into a living time bomb, which might end up working for us in the long run. You never know. But I think we'll go with that. Then we can blast through all of this, like so. There we go. A little bit of damage, and blocked a little bit too. Not too bad. I'm gonna break this. You can brittle on it, buddy. <laughs> it kind of doesn't fully help us this turn, but at least it's something. Okay, not too bad. Um, from here though, this one does one damage, right? So I guess if we put you here-ish, we let you kind of like get ready and kind of work with you. We need to put the 49er here down for now. And maybe put this down and it might blast that thing as soon as it hits the board. From what I understand. It's kind of how I understand these things. Okay, they do. Okay, good. So you might at least blast them as soon as they hit the board. How much damage does it do, though? Just one. Eh, it's something. <laughs> Could be worse, honestly. At least it's doing something. Okay. Well, we can break you, I guess. And we can put you down in its place to do two damage this turn. And then completely get our little guy out of here. <laughs> in the quickest time fashion, uh, fashion when it comes to what's been going on in here. Jeez. Okay. Well, another thing down. Oh, wait a minute, block. Is this where we needed to bring the keys? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, yep, it is. Oh, where did you get that? Uh, good question, buddy. Well, let's check out what we opened. Oh, hello, Bone Lord. Oh, you found me here, so you wish to know more. I am reading it deeply on the old data. I will impart my insights, but you mustn't recall them. Oh. Looks like Luke Carter's not recording this part, part for us to see. What the fuck, man? Okay, at least he's okay. Because we heard him. That is everything I know. Okay, Bone Lord. Holy me. <laughs> okay, well apparently, um... <laughs> Poe is uh, a little concerned about that too, I guess. Okay then. Huh. Well, we found one of the keys uh, spots, I guess. I guess we'll go forward and I guess, guess we gave permission? I don't know what that even means. But, oh, hello. We got a way of getting back at least. We got our items too. Oh, and those bots back there are permanently offline now. Okay, well we knew that. 
but it looks like we are at our next Uberbot, or what would be Grimora. But what are you going to call this one? There it is. The Uberbot you sought. Um, these idiotic librarians worship it, as it sits here, covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up. Um, not sure. Um, oh, look, it's boss time. Unpacking archivist.zip. Applying personality ma um, matrices. Cleaning up some temp files. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ah, greetings. Um, if you had not cleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. Okay, Grimora. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. Okay. Um, files and directories are my specialty, you see. Uh, huh. Okay, what do you mean by that? Tombstone. Repulsive. Would not attack a, not attack a card bearing the sigil. It does not. So these two areas are blocked for you for us to do damage? Librarian. Okay, dead bite. When the card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file. Place damage on the scales according to the file size. What do you mean by that? Okay, then. I don't like the sound of that. I'll be honest there. Huh. Okay, then. Strange. Very strange. What if I blow the board up? No, let's try it. Sure. <laughs> Just blow the whole board up and see what happens. Okay, well, let's see. Kaboom. <laughs> No reason not to, right? Might as well try it, see what happens. Okay, librarian's coming in. Yikes. That is uh, a little bit scary, to be honest. But, uh... <laughs> guess we'll find out what we can do here. Uh, huh. Well, I can at least grab another one of these if I want to block a turn. But the thing is, is that right now I'm not entirely sure what I can do here in a way that would actually help us. Because they do 3 damage immediately on on our turn, and there's no way we're going to have anything to even be able to swing right away. But I guess what we can do like that, and then get our shields back maybe, and then put you down? guess we can work with that. I guess we'll find out. Okay. A little bit of that. Okay, not too bad. It could be worse. Um, I can grab another one, I guess, for this turn. Could give ourselves a little bit of something to work with, too, if we needed to. I'm gonna put the gift box down, though, in this position. And then kind of figure out from there what we can do. Okay, I broke it. Oh, I should have inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Um, would you please? Aquasize. I assure you, no harm will come of it. Um, grant inscription.exe permission to access your hard drive. Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a good thing for me. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, wait, it's saying yes no matter what I say. I guess yes, then. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, do you recommend an exemplary file to me? And don't take um, into account its size. Its magnitude is bulk. It's bulk. Ooh. Okay. This is strange. What exactly are you having me do. This is definitely weird. Uh-huh. Okay, then. This is actually my real files, apparently. Okay, then. If it's gonna do that, let's play the safe, then. Just because, um, if it's gonna have me find a big file to delete, if this is what that's exactly meaning, 
I should definitely at least prepare a file or two while it's doing that then. Okay, definitely strange, but, um, okay. So let's see here, how do you even get to the recycle bin from full screen? <laughs> I'll be honest here, I actually don't know how to do that off the top of my... Okay, you can just open up recycle bin, okay, cool. I do have, um, it's not really a big file, it wants me to get a, give a big file, right? Hmm. Wish I didn't delete a bunch of my, um, files for recording files, because I actually could have just dropped them from the recycle bin, because <laughs> I actually had a bunch of them beforehand. I guess what it could do is... Do I have anything that I can just throw in there and like make a duplicate of something so I don't lose it? That would be a good way of doing things, right? Hmm. Yeah, that might be a way to do it. Yeah, let's try that, actually. Okay, so if I go here... And then if I were to go to, like, something I would, like, upload, and then duplicate it, and then delete it, I guess that would be a way of doing things, I think. In a safe way that wouldn't, like, actually delete anything, because I don't know exactly how this works. And I'm not sure if I really trust it, but we'll try it this way. So, let's see here. Um, is there, like, a quick way of doing this, or... Do I just, like, kind of just see what happens? I guess we'll move that in there, I guess. Because I can delete this. I guess we'll put two of these in here. Okay, we'll see what happens with that then. Okay, so I have a couple files in there. Don't know what that is. Which one is that? Um, there should be more in there. Uh, not really sure what that is. Let's see here. I'm looking at it, but it doesn't look like the file that's actually in there. Okay. I don't know what any of this is. That doesn't look like my stuff. So maybe it's not. I'm not really sure. Uh, go back here. What the heck is going on here? Boot manager. Uh... Six gigabytes. I'm not clicking that. Yeah, there's a bunch of my stuff in here. <laughs> That's interesting. Got my file, or my image editor for thumbnails and stuff like that here. That's kind of crazy to just see some of this stuff. Okay, sorry for the random cut there. Um, I was more of like confused on what I was really doing there. I don't know what I just threw on there, by the way. Um, it was something the game threw on there and it seemed like a file. I don't know what this is actually doing, to be honest. So that's why I was like really concerned, so I kind of like had to back out for a second. Just because I didn't want to delete anything if it actually deletes stuff. And I still don't know what it's really doing, so I uh, guess we're about to find out. Because the thing is, is uh, if it's using my own files here, is it really safe to do so? I don't know. Okay, well I guess we'll find out. Oh my word, this file it is. Let me say, it's colossal. Oh, bravo. Okay. Um, put a big file in there, but it didn't really do much to her. Okay. Weird. Okay. Um, I don't really say I feel very comfortable doing what I just did, but it's not really much I can do about that one, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay. If I do damage to her, will at least, like, swing at it? I'm not really sure. I'm gonna throw you down, I guess, and maybe we can kind of break a couple things out of this, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what to say here. We'll put you here, I guess, since we know this will block at least. And then I guess we'll do it again. Oh, again, do choose a file. Its file size will be paramount. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see if the recycle bin... No, it didn't put anything new in there. Can I just, you know... I don't want to throw my stuff in here. Willy-nilly. Okay. Throw some temp files, maybe? Is there any temp files I can throw in here? <laughs> I really don't want to throw in stuff. Like, just randomly. To be honest. Because I really don't know what I'm doing here. 
Just I can't really tell exactly what I'm throwing in either, is the problem. It's definitely strange. Like, I can go in here and, like, delete some old files, I guess. Like, here's a bunch of Persona- er, um, not Persona- Pokemon Scarlet and Violet files, I guess. Throw that in. Magnificent. It is Gargantuan. Uh huh. Did I win? Well, please select a file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. And one that shows age. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll just do the same thing. I'm not putting anything specific in here. I'm gonna be honest, I do not know what it's doing and I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. Can I throw like a really old version of this uh, in there? Sure. Episode 11, I guess. Oh, now let us place that file in a card. Well, you didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, it will delete the file from your desk. Uh, please do not tempt me. Game completely, completely serious. Well, shall we see what that looks like? Uh, huh. Uh, did you create this file yesterday? No. Well, it is. To be perfectly frank, juvenile. Uh, one one are the correct stats for this infant file. Uh, it shouldn't be. I'm not using it to fight. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ain't happening. I'll put this down for now. Well, that does that, I guess. And then we can break this open for now. Swap bot. And. Okay. Shield bot down in that spot. Kind of swing through for now. See what happens. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Um, dead tree, I guess. Weird. Okay, definitely don't like the idea that I'm putting down cards like this, but uh, there's not really much I can do about that, which is odd, I'm gonna be honest. But we're gonna swing forward and just try and knock her out before she can do anything weird with any of my files that are possibly able to go down. So many files, so much stimulation. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. I don't know how I feel about that, using my own files to fight, but <laughs> we're gonna find out, I guess. It's like pu putting the gun to itself. I don't like that at all. What does it say? Hostage file. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the file you used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive. Okay, then. That is weird. But, um, hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna go forward, I guess. Mm -hmm. Don't like that Wizbomb got hit with that, but we won. I thought I had you. Oh well. You made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess. And you're lucky. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check my files after that. Rank and file defeat the Archivist. Archi or archivist. Okay, then. That was odd. That was a really odd fight. Huh. Strange. What is this? Is this something we've seen before? Oh no, this is to upgrade our, our vessels. It's giving us a chance to change again. Uh, which one's this again? Battery Bearer. When a card bearing this to played, it provides a energy cell to its owner. Um, do I have to? I'll take this one, I guess. Do I still get to keep the other version? Because I would like to get the other version of that too, if possible, for what I already had. It doesn't show me directly. Guess we'll find out. Weird though. Very strange. Actually, was that a place I could teleport from? Or not teleport, but you know, like, secret entrances? No. Okay. It's worth a shot, honestly. Okay, well, we got that now. Guess we can go down. Guess we can check the shop. Nothing of note. Okay. Weird. I guess so. Uh, take a small look around, just double check anything we've been through, but haven't fully checked out, I guess. I guess we can keep going forward, I guess. Hmm. Okay. We got an empty vessel, so I guess we can check. Okay, it does have battery. Okay, good. That's what I want. Okay, that's fine. 
I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, oh, the alarm bot is definitely going down. I'm gonna be honest there. Um, I'm gonna put you over here. First in battery. Okay. And then we'll put the sentry drone here so it immediately shoots that guy on sight. It seems like a good idea. Okay, cool. That goes down. You put the... Well, I gotta pull a card. Pull you then, I guess. We put you over here. And then we can put you right down the middle to do a bunch of damage in the middle. And then we can kind of figure out from there. Okay, not too bad. Cool. Okay, it's basically a win. Oh, we got another guy coming in. I did see you last of Hobbs Clank, did ya? Well, think again. Hello, Hobbs Clank. Long time no see, buddy. <laughs> but you're not going to be here long enough to actually do anything on her yet. So, uh... Let's be honest here. <laughs> you got nothing going on here. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, can we do something special here to do a little bit extra damage? Maybe. Uh, let's break you, I guess. Well, we can break the shield if we wanted to. That's interesting. Um, one in one. I'm just gonna do you over here. That was not exactly my plan either. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this then. Not exactly my biggest uh, thing I wanted to do, but yeesh. Well, actually, this doesn't affect us too much, actually, because we're still attacking forward. Okay. I thought it was a major problem there, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. Okay. Interesting. Another recycle. That was to get a card for something we don't want, right? Okay. Oh, wait, this is different. You will just try one of your cards now. Um, don't be afraid. Uh, don't be an idiot. This is better than, um, getting a new one. Makes your deck more consistent. And I'll give you Robobux for it. Okay. Which one do I not like? Um, hmm. Good question. Currently, out of the cards we have, this bolt hound doesn't been doing anything, so you can have that. I'm gonna be honest, this thing's literally been messing with my team, to be honest. Can I get a new card, or is this just giving me money? Ow. That's what we're doing. Eh, maybe it'll make it so I get other cards easier, maybe. Because we have a lot of cards, so maybe it's worth it in the end. It's kind of iffy, though. But I can honestly get rid of that, and I think I'm fine with that. Busted 3D printer. Once card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Honestly, I kind of like that. I'll take it. Cool. Because we got that as a random uh, gift box card before. So, I'll take what we can get. Because we didn't have that ourselves. And it seems like it would be a good card. Okay, where are we getting? Tomaton is coming in. That's fine. Ooh, we can bomb latcher. Hello. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, if I put that there then. And then put you here. Hmm. Interesting. We can do something along the lines of this and add that to it. Because then it will it'll blast this guy out completely. When we want to. I think we can work with that. I don't mind that, because it's going to go down eventually anyways, right? So it's like, it's not a major problem to have that for later, because that gives us an extra bit of defense. Okay, got an automaton coming in. Got a gift box, but nothing I can really do about it. We put you down, though. We block you. Something. And then, not enough to really get anything else out of it, but at least it's something. Okay. Not bad. Don't like that, though. That we're getting hit multiple times without a chance to really fight back. But... Um, what we can do, however... Put Skelly Watcher down. I'm not putting the gift... Or actually, gift box can go down safely. This is gonna break it open anyways, for me. So I guess we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, that's better than what I thought was going to happen there. Cool. Okay, that works. That definitely works. Okay, we got you coming in. 
And then we have a little bit else going on right now, too. Hmm. Definitely, um, a worrisome fight, I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to what we're doing. But, uh, hold. Hmm. Put Grizz down. Don't like it, though. Definitely don't like that. But, let's see. Shield bot can block us. The thing is, is we just need to survive, right? It's really all we really need to do. We put you here. Actually, we could have just attacked them. That would have been smarter. Don't know why I did that. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get a, we'll get the cards back anyways. So it's not in a major like positioning like fail for us right now. Just a little bit of a worrisome movement for myself. In my honest opinion. Okay, well, uh, we got you attacking next turn. If we can get something to at least do a little bit of damage to you, that would be better than what we just got. Okay, well... Honestly, if we're gonna do it that way... Actually, you're gonna blow that up. Hmm... Okay, maybe this is a good turn then. Guess we'll see. Okay, saved it a little bit. Not too bad. I'm putting this on you, though. I'm gonna be honest. You taking out my cards is gonna take you out and death on top of that. Not letting that happen. Ooh, hello, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, we're gonna put you right there. <laughs> and then, uh... I'm gonna block you for a turn. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind moving as much as we're moving right now. As long as we knock him out, I'm perfectly fine with it. Just don't want him, like, knocking us out completely is the problem. Okay, movement. Um, so this was where we came from. Just, like, kind of, like, double-checking for secrets. And there it is. Okay, cool. The items are back online, but spawners offline as well. Good. Uh, what's above us? Hello. Oh, it's you. Um, oh, what is it? What do you want? I am merely an inspector, and you've given me a lot of files to inspect, and you wish to pass through this gate. Try inspecting the satellite dish at the foot of the wizard tower. Uh, huh. Ooh, hello. What's that? Loading six, uh... What the fuck is this? Ooh, more old, uh, old data it looks like. June 6, 20, 2006. Found this old picture of an, when L and I first got into um, Aqua, uh, Aquaman's Gilly Gladiator Sick. L got a Julius C star. Huh. Okay then. Interesting. I guess more old data to find. Over the bridge we go. Oh, um, yep. Yeah. Oh no. Yep, I forgot a piece. You have legs. Stand up and get it. It is, um, in the smelter room, floating above a smelting machine. Well, I can't let you go further until they have it. Uh, huh. Okay, guess we'll get up then. Uh, where's the smelting machine? Where exactly are we gonna find that to? Hello, buddy. Doesn't look like Leshy's doing too good in there. Selecting them all applicable emotions for the following scenarios. You draw your energy by, and you have full energy. Um, big sad. You are about to die from an insect drone. You draw a leap bot. Uh, both of those, I guess. You successfully perform the Great Sea of Transcendence. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I have to. Okay. We'll just, uh, give him what, we, what he wants then. All smiles, I guess. Hmm. String. Uh, what was that? Ooh, hello. Uh, can't touch it. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, buddy. Oh, greetings. The pain unbearable. The pressure of these pipes surrounding me feels nice. And that and the knowledge that the master is near. Uh, what are you doing in here? Oh, yes, the master is near. near. I feel his presence. <laughs> the robot will agree with the day. Huh. Anything else, buddy? 
Hmm, nothing else. Ooh, hello. Wait, wasn't this something? Yeah, flight something something, right? We had something for this. Uh, don't know what else to put here, though. Hmm. Strange. But yeah, flight goes on top, from what we know. But it looks like I have no idea for the rest of that, though. Okay, well, at least we tried. Uh, enter the correct sum. That is a 10. So, 10? 7 plus 2. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I was thinking 3. I don't know why I had 3 in my head. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so that's uh, 9. That's 12. Um, 4 plus 4 minus 4. That's 4. That's 2 plus... Uh, that's 3. 2 plus 3... Um, so that's obviously 5, plus 6, that's 11. That should be pretty easy. There we go. I just got confused. I don't know why I thought that was a 3 at first. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I guess then this is what we needed. But I guess we'll keep looking. Waiting for network. Okay. Which sigil is represented? Uh... This one? Um, this one? No. This one, this one. Oh, apparently that's right. Uh, this one? No. This one, this one. This one, this one, this one? Don't know what I just did there. Okay. Waiting for network. Don't know when that'll be up and ready. Guess we gotta wait till Poe lets us go any further then, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at here. Strange, though. Very, very strange. But we have what looks to be a Mox Generator, I guess. Because it kind of looks like the Mox uh, cards. But I guess we'll put this down, I guess. Huh. Oh, yeah, good. Let's attach it. Okay. This thing lights up when you have Gem Vessel cards in play. Your empty vessels are now filled with gems. Check it out. Okay. Um, other one. Okay, then I don't have anything to use these on, but thank you, I guess. Um, you can change the color of the gems you draw from your side deck. Try it, press one. Uh, huh. Okay. I'll take it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but thank you, I guess. <laughs> okay, then. I'm going to say this is where we're going to end off today's episode, because I am drawing a lot of blanks on what I'm going to do with that, but at least we have it, right? And that's all I can say. But geez, what a crazy, crazy, crazy level today. Um, don't know what we were doing, by the way, with the final thing, because at first it said it was going to, what I thought it was going to do was we were deleting stuff because it was trying, telling me to pull things out, and I don't know exactly what we were doing there. But apparently the second phase was actually deleting something, so I'm gonna have a look at things to be completely, like, make sure I'm okay with my files and nothing actually deleted. So, yeah, um, not sure exactly what we were doing there, I'm gonna be honest. Very interesting, though, I will say that. I will say it's pretty cool that there was something like that. And I also don't know why I was, like, having some files... Maybe that was just telling me which ones were larger files, maybe? Maybe that's what that was, where they were, like, growing and shrinking inside that menu. Because I really don't know why it was doing that. It was confusing me. Because I was trying to search through there normally, but because of that, it made it harder to actually find files for what we were doing. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.